The fun part is finding stuff once it sells. So we got 27 items to pack up and ship out. And after that, we're gonna go to the post office and then you know we're probably gonna go sourcing. So let's show you some of the stuff we sold, what it sold for, and uh, let's go. I know I have a pair of boots. Oh, there they are. Let's see if I can do this. Move you guys there. These Sorrel boots, kids boots. Sold those. And I know I have a plush in there that sold, so now I get to move everything back. There we go. This little official Porsche bear. All right, next up we got a pair of men's Puma called Echo 2. There we go. Just gonna put these right here. Check. Yep. Add those to the cart. Yeah, that's right. We got our own washeteria cart. Let's see what's here. New Balance. This is gonna be, I think, right here. Size 11 and a half. Let's see if these are it. Gray. All right, next up, Adidas isn't on the shelf yet. I'm pretty sure it is. Gray Light Racers. So again. Next up is going to be a pair of mints. Nike CD5079. CD5079. These are actually, yeah, Paul George shoes. So next up is going to be a pair of Tupac Machiavelli shorts. They are actually going to be in jeans bin B, as you can see, stacked up. So I'm going to go ahead and have to move this stuff. Let's see. There we go. Tupac Shakur. Machiavelli. So we ran a sale on our jeans slash shorts because we have quite a few and we want to kind of start moving them uh, as we get more into shoes. So we ran a sale over the weekend and these are just some of the items that sold. Now, $22 on a pair of uh, Tupac shorts aren't a lot of profit, but even after fees and shipping, it's still going to net us between $9 and $12 profit because our buy cost is generally under $3 for jeans or shorts. Um, also, the same thing with these L.L. Bean. Got lucky, we also sold a pair of L.L. Bean. Let's make sure these are it. They're big boy size. Let's see. We want 44, 32, that's right. We actually took an offer of $22 shipped. We ship them in a flat rate envelope. So even after fees, we make about between nine to twelve dollars and we actually found these in a bag of clothes we picked up curb shopping so our buy cost was zero next up is a dreaded jacket and i'll explain what i mean by that in a second there it is vintage motorcycle jacket this leather jacket if I didn't love the movie Grease so much, Tell me about it. Stay. I would just set it on fire. But we've sold this jacket now five times. Yes, four times before this, it's been purchased for over $100 and then returned because it was too small. Maybe you need to lose weight. Maybe it's not the jacket's fault. Gone out four times and it's come back four times. Each time I learn a little bit more about what the problem is, it comes down to, this is a vintage jacket. So a size 42 jacket in 1980 is not a size 42 in 2021. We as a society have gotten a larger. <laughs> so I've included all the measurements. It's actually a tapered uh, waist as well. So I included the pit to pit and the waist. And I messaged the guy who made me an offer on this one. I said, look, this has gone out four times. It's come back four times. You might want to measure yourself before I accept this offer. He said, it seems like it should work. Another $100 offer. Let's get it out. And if... 
praise be to Allah, it does not come back for the fifth time. If it comes back this time, I'm probably gonna burn it and you'll see it on Instagram. Next thing is actually a video game. Oh, there it is. The last of this lot that I got a long time ago. Add that to the pile. Next up is going to be this Nerf Vortex from 2012. Out of mystery assortment items. And I have a lightsaber that I sold somewhere that I am looking. I'm pretty sure that's it. It's a Obi-Wan retractable. Oh, spring loaded. Nerd toy. Lights up and everything. All right, I think that's everything that's going to be from our little makeshift storage outside. Roll our little cart in and we will get the inside stuff pulled off the racks. Boom. I went ahead and pulled everything so you didn't have to see me going off the shelves. Getting upset looking for it, but that's it. That's today's haul. 28 items going out. So we can save time. You guys can watch the sourcing and we can all go to the post office and have a great day. Here's some of the other items we sold. Orange Nikes. You're going to look like a construction site wearing those. Enjoy. We've got the CD player. Now, generally small electronics, I'm, I'm drawn to them. I'm going to pick them up, especially if it's a complete CD deck. And that's a detachable Kenmore faceplate. I think we paid like $6.587 for it. I knew that was going to sell quickly. There is one more thing, but I already packed it because it's uh, had a custom job. Let me grab that. And there's the other thing that is the Dragon Ball Z wall scroll. I picked up three of those in the hammock sourcing challenge where we didn't have comps. Uh, we had 30 minute time limit. I've already sold another one. That is the second one. I only have one left. So I think my buy cost was like $7 each. And the first one sold for $79.99. This one, I took an offer for 50 because I'm just trying to get rid of stuff that isn't shoe related. But there it is. Boom. Got everything bagged up and put in the car. Let's go sourcing. <sighs> I've only been here a few minutes. Stacy found these two catcher's mitts for $3.99 each. So on these Mizuno gloves, the two of them together should bring between $100 and $125. Stay in the vans, $3.99. These are actually rock climbing shoes. Scarpa. These are rock climbing wall shoes. Uh, we've actually sold another pair of rock climbing shoes before. I think we got like $65. These are smaller. These are women's size four and a half, but they still should bring us in between 50 and $55. So always be on the lookout for rock climbing shoes. You'll be very, it's very easy to tell what they look like because the bottom almost feels like it's got a kind of a grip to it for climbing. Betty Boop golf head cover i've done pretty well with golf head covers especially vintage ones i think i sold a taz one for like 30 dollars. this betty boop one only has one sold like this there's lots of betty boop golf head covers that sell but one in this particular design sold for over 40 dollars. all right so we got a pair of down shifters stacy found this boggle game brand new sealed it's 2.99 sells for about 20 bucks free shipping um not a lot of profit, but there's been four solds in the last 90 days and there's only seven listings. So sell through rate's pretty high. And then so far the best score is this double-sided Star Wars nerd toy. It's $4.99. We love selling lightsabers. Uh, Star Wars toys do very well. This especially caught my eye because I've never seen one before and it was working. It's like a double-edged sword thingy. Um, I'm not... Uh, scared of shipping because we could just use the same postal tubes that we use for posters and and other things that we sell like bats so um took a gamble it was 4.99 and they sell for you know 40 to 60 dollars so i'm pretty sure we'll get about 45 to 50 dollars shipped also i found these trash monster piggy banks it's a farm team there's two of them they're 99 cents i'm probably going to pick these up these will actually be probably like a raffle or a giveaway because I am the trash monster. So maybe this will be something for uh, viewers or we'll do a giveaway, but definitely getting those. As you saw, we did pretty well. Uh, total spent was $49 and I think we only got one item that is not for resale. It's just an old Dr. Seuss, Green Eggs and Ham, VHS 
for the chill rinse, but um, lots of good stuff. We spent $49. I think we got 10 items for resale and three for personal. So $49, it comes out to our buy cost is $4.45 per item. And I am expecting us to make between $300 and $325 gross when it's all said and done. This was just a quick pop into a Goodwill by the post office after we dropped off our amazing sales. So always be looking. There's money everywhere. Like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends. Also, be on the lookout for new Flip the World merch coming soon. We're talking hats, Ikea bags, shirts, 